Greater Victoria preschoolers are getting a lesson in energy conservation, and BC Hydro hopes they'll take their new knowledge home and share it with their parents. Hydro representatives are crisscrossing the province, teaching young kids about the importance of saving energy, which they hope will stick with them for the long haul. We're actually using electricity right now. It's widely known that the best way to form good, lifelong habits is at a young age. This week, BC Hydro was at Cordova Bay Preschool with a lesson in energy conservation. It starts with the rains. I want everybody to make rain. And as BC Hydro representatives are traveling the province this month, teaching kids about the connection between their environment and saving energy. We want to plant a seed in their minds, just connecting uh, the indoors, the lights and the electronics they use in their everyday lives to the outside environment. With the BC Hydro outreach team, preschoolers read stories and played games that demonstrate how everyone can make a difference. What did you learn today about electricity? Mm, you're supposed to turn off the sink. You have to turn off the lights. Why? Because you have to save electricity. And how does the water make electricity? It goes, it goes through a tube. The hands-on approach to the presentation kept in line with the philosophy of the co-op preschool. Learning through play and through creativity and imagination um, is, is the way that you will reach them and, and ha grab their interest and have them learning and talking about it to their families and their friends. And that's exactly what BC Hydro hopes these preschoolers will do. Take home what they've learned and share it with their parents. The whole family can uh, take part in really simple, easy ways to save electricity around the house. Last year, BC Hydro representatives spoke to more than 5,000 children about saving energy. This summer, they hope to reach even more. The company says building a culture of conservation will help the province meet its goal of becoming energy self-sufficient by 2016. In Sanich, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.